viewer question time and it's from RS. Now RS has asked, and yes, in one of your videos with Dan Radio Star, you were saying that allowance, acceptance and surrender are the three silent triplets that opens the master door for manifestation. Do you have any videos in which I can understand about these three in more detail? Good question. Here's the YouTube or the video for you to understand it a bit better. I'm going to go through all three and see if I can break down the mechanics of it just a little bit more for you. Okay, now first allowance or allowing. Okay, Abraham Hicks probably does the best explanations of allowing. I will put some of her Art of Allowing YouTubes down below so you can go on a bit further after what I say as well to have a look at. So allowing is something that goes against what we're used to. Okay, with the Law of Attraction, with creating, and we really aren't creating, we're selecting something that already exists. Remember that it's all different selections and we select one that we would like to experience. So with the allowing it's you mentally imagine what you want and then you let go and allow, which means you don't try and coax it along, push it along, control it, manipulate it, try and work out how it's going to come when it's going to come. You basically let all that go and you sit in the trust of life because allowing is a part of trusting life. Okay. So you say to yourself things like, I let go and I allow. You breathe in. I let go and I allow as you breathe out. I couldn't do two at the same time, but you know what I mean. Okay. So you basically, as you're breathing in and out, you're, you're letting go of this hanging on, trying to make it happen. Okay. So it is practice because we are so geared from a very young age from school about doing and achieving and making things happen and being rewarded for this hard work thing. Okay. Hard work is for those that don't understand lining up with things mentally and allowing things to unfold. Okay. That comes from the generations above us and even the generations above us, some already knew, like Neville, like Florence, like so many, Dandapani, all the, the people that I recommend on the channel, they already understood Dandapani's young, but his teachings come from, you know, before, generations before. So the generations before, the ones that were into this stuff and into this work understood that it's not about putting in effort and making things happen and pushing things along, you know? So that's the best thing I can say about allowance. It's trusting life. It's trusting the flow. It's trusting I've done my internal work. It's trusting I know that as I launch through focus, through daily practice, through meditation, through surrender, through letting go, through having a pinpointed focus between me and my desire, that life will hatch it after an incubation process of watering it through daily. As Neville talks about, we've been talking about in the Power of Awareness series I've just been doing in the Neville Nuggets, that it is about frequency. And not frequency as a zzz energy, it's frequency as in doing it often. Okay, so that's the first thing. Acceptance. Okay, acceptance is saying, I accept how things are, but I know that if it's not to my liking, I can focus my way out. So you accept how things are, you don't waste time and energy pushing against things, fighting with things in your head losing sleep, getting emotionally disturbed, you just go, you know what, I accept how things are. Again, I breathe in. <sighs> I breathe out. I accept how things are. I accept how things are. I allow how things are to unfold. I allow things to unfold. I allow things to unfold. Okay, so acceptance is about being at peace with how things are today because we are often emotionally disturbed about things. Not everybody, but 
part of being human is having emotions and sometimes you find things out and you get emotionally disturbed so part of letting go of emotional disturbance is acceptance that this is how it is now but that's not how it has to keep being in this form unless I keep focusing on the problem or keep focusing on how it is and keep looking at it how it is and keep talking about how it is and keep complaining about how it is and keep reading about researching about things that aren't working etc etc you can accept things to give yourself that calm and peace and you just say it to yourself I accept how this is today and I work towards moving and focusing my way out in a very gentle way gentle way now you've asked about the, the silent triplets I, like, I don't remember saying that but yeah that is a nice um, trilogy surrender so surrender is about again calming yourself down and saying that packaging and timing is the universe or God's department so you hand over again the emotional disturbance and you say I surrender I let go I trust the process I know that things unfold for the highest good of all concerned and you basically I do it physically in imagination as in I imagine something physical when something's bothering me I put it in like a cane basket those ones that have the two wing <laughs> lid the lid that goes up so I put pull one up I put the thing that's bugging me in I flip the lid down and then I send it up to the universe and I say right I surrender I let this go you can handle it I don't know what to do exactly and I trust that my higher self will reveal to me where to go what to do when the timing is right and in the meantime I'm just going to be at peace in this day I'm going to accept in this day and I'm going to allow in this day as best I can because becoming emotionally relaxed calm and at peace is the greatest work you can do apart from your self-love and it is part of self-love allowing acceptance and surrender because what I see again and again with the emails I get and the viewers questions and the Q&A's that we do three times a month what pops up again and again is people are emotionally disturbed okay by something or someone now the work is not trying to control manipulate and fix something on the outside it's about dissolving the part of you that's disturbed and it can be done through Ho'oponopono remembering everyone's you pushed out and really looking at what am I thinking feeling and believing that I've got this in front of me that's bothering me okay so I hope that helps there is an actual uh, surrender playlist and if there is any other YouTubes in relation to this subject I will put the links down below for those of you that want to look a little bit more so thank you for your question it was a lovely question and I will put that Dan and my little part of the interview uh, down below as well for those of you that want to refer to where the original question came from all right cool bananas lots of love from London England yes <laughs>